Med-L, pin implants. The following medical illustrations are schematic and can differ from a patient's anatomical situation for demonstration purposes. Please refer to Med-L surgical guidelines for more information. Step 1. Preparation for implant placement. After the area is sterile, place the processor template behind the ear and position the single-use implant template pin. The lower part of the stimulator should be under or close to the temporal line, with an angle between 30 and 60 degrees. Mark the correct position of the implant on the skin around the rim of the template, including the electrode lead exit. Create incision behind the pinna. A small incision of 3 cm can be performed for all pin implants. Step 2. Preparation for implant fixation. A tight subperiosteal pocket can be achieved by using the fingertips to feel the tip of the respiratory at the rim. Measure the skin flap thickness with the skin flap gauge 6. For optimal magnet attraction and signal transmission, the flap should loosely fit in the gauge. Reducing the skin flap thickness at the coil is recommended when the flap exceeds 6 mm. Check the size and position of the periosteal pocket with the implant template pin. Mark the stimulator housing of the implant template rim and the electrode lead exit. The distance between the stimulator housing and mastoid cavity shall be approximately 10 to 15 millimeters. The temporal bone area must be flattened to ensure sufficient stimulator immobilization. Drill a 2 mm deep bony channel or trough for the electrode lead to protect it against postoperative mechanical damage. Step 3. Pin Implants Synchrony pin cochlear implant is suitable for minimal incision approach. It requires less drilling and is designed to provide fast and reliable fixation. The pins are 1 mm in diameter and 1.4 mm in depth. Use the Pin Drill Guide SI to check the flat surface and use a 1 mm diamond burr to mark the pinholes. There is no need to drill perpendicularly. Remove the drilling template and enlarge the pinholes. Insert the implant template pin to double check for correct position of the implant. Step 4. Implant placement and electrode insertion. After the round window or cochleostomy site has been prepared, insert the implant under the skin and align the two pins to the pinholes. Palpate the implant through the skin to check for proper implant fixation. The pin implant, together with a tight subperiosteal pocket, will provide secure placement without any additional fixation, such as suturing. During electrode insertion, it is important for the electrode array to approach the anterior portion of the basal turn at an insertion vector so that it slides along the lateral wall of the scala tympani. The insertion speed should be as slow as possible to minimize intracochlear pressure. If using a flex electrode array, orient the single contacts along the apical portion of the array towards the medialis so that the marker dot at the base of the array will point towards the medialis after insertion. Step 5. Electrode lead placement. After electrode insertion is completed, the extracochlear electrode lead can be looped against the wall of the mastoid cavity and hidden underneath the mastoid overhang. 
Place the electrode lead into the drilled electrode channel. A narrow electrode channel with overhang, or a half bridge technique, are also optional. If the electrode lead cannot be fully recessed in the electrode channel, it is recommended to cover the electrode lead with bone pâté. It is essential to have the electrode lead fully recessed and secured in the channel because the channel helps prevent any impact directly against the electrode lead. Check electrode placement and avoid any contact between the electrode lead and the muscle or skin to prevent micro-movement of the electrode lead for the wound closure. 